key position, not, not the referee, and it should have been his call. And in that one, I think he's called it spot on. Peter's leg came out, but contact, he withdrew the leg, and you know, Toure's two two gone down far too easily. Though. All right, let's, for, the, for the people that are watching that are statistics buffs and want to know actually what all of this means, well, just some remarkable results all around in the Premier League today. We'll be coming to those results um, in, in a bit, but just for the focus of our game, Man City versus Stoke City, this is how the teams eventually um, did pan out. Still the possession heavily in favor of uh, Manchester City. But you know what? When you have the possession, you've got to turn it into something. And we saw United today had the lion's share of possession but couldn't get the victory that they so craved. With only 26% possession, um, Stoke City had the result. Um, the shots on target, it just runs through generally in terms of corner kicks. But still, generally, from the corner kicks and everything, it seems statistics from the two teams, but we're just going to go back to the results from the today's matches um, and just check out what all of this means for the teams. Man United, Burnley, we've already spoken about that. Goalers between the two teams. Manchester City losing at home to Stoke City. Newcastle against Crystal Palace. We've got to pause that there and just show you that that three, game three. ended. 3 all um, between the two teams. Just, uh, uh, yeah, so that's um, Newcastle 3-3. Three, three. I mean, at some point, it was Zaha comes on and scores in the last minute. What's of, Zaha? Of, and it's for somebody who was much maligned at Manchester United, goes on loan and gets the equaliser. I mean, for his new manager, like for his new manager, Neil Warnock, that's, I mean, hey. And that's our man, Good. Mark Bright's uh, team. Very, very <laughs> excited. I can tell you about that particular result. Well, we know what happened when West Ham took on Southampton. They were beaten by three goals to one on their home turf. This is the second home defeat for West Ham. Big Sam is going to be in a lot of trouble, Stuart. He will be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and I, uh, I know my High Commissioner, John Benjamin. John won't Benjamin. Be a, man. He won't be a happy guy tonight. Um, and yes. on Monday when he walks into the office. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be reminding him. But um, Very nice, Smith, yeah. Absolutely. All right, so let's just see. And Gary Naismith is in that team that's been sent out today. Well, let's just go to our Twitter handle now and see um, what people are saying. Um, first tweet says, wow, that was a big upset for the citizens. And so, yeah, absolutely. Big result there. Big upset. Everybody's talking about that. This is a massive win for Hughes and sweet revenge. That's from Nanako Joe Afre. I mean, I, I agree with him, sort of, right, about, about that, um, about that um, yeah, you know, the result there for Mark Hughes because he's gone there and, and got one over his former employees. And Juliet Bewa says, we, the Man United fans, are happy. <laughs> the noisy neighbors are down. Well, typical. Uh, of DSTV and Super Sports. Just to let you know what's going to be happening um, tomorrow, these are the matches. Aston Villa Hall, Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool. Should be a cracking game by all standards. Leicester City and Arsenal too will be rounding off the fixtures for tomorrow. So that's your 1.30 um, kickoffs and the 4 p.m. kickoff for that Leicester City Arsenal. And that Leicester City Arsenal will be the last match of the opening round of matches in the English Premier League for the first three matches, that is, before the international break kicks in. So next week, Saturday, we're not here bringing you any game because the players and the teams will be off to play international football. Various qualifying matches for um, continental competitions, both in Europe and South America, as well as from our perspective here in Africa. Well, the program